Hi again. My name is Cameron Siskelik, and I'm a former NFL player and proud citizen of Las Vegas, Nevada. I realize that you may have been taken back by some of my comments and asking yourselves, what does CTE and concussions have to do with the stadium in Las Vegas? Well, let me explain. You see, if we are going to build the most expensive publicly subsidized stadium in US history, we should probably do our best to make sure we are not building a cathedral for a team that is inevitably going to be on strike the same year the stadium is due to open up in 2020, which happens to be the same year the collective bargaining agreement, which is known as the worst deal in the history of sports, needs to be renegotiated. While the concussion settlement is quickly turning into a perfectly orchestrated finger pointing mess known as the cover up 2.0, we just see Chris Seeger agreeing with the NFL on every single issue and doing his best to get paid and help the NFL by creating the new worst deal in the history of sports. Players are dying from CTE and they're getting nothing. The American people picked up the tax bill for 96 years until 2014 while the NFL operated as a nonprofit organization. Great job, NFL. I'm really glad we picked up that tab for almost a century. At least you guys are taking great care of the former players. Right. Listen, CT is real. The sport of football is in jeopardy. And while it should be the NFL who picks up the tab, Mark Davis, I hope you realize the first owner to fund independent studies will literally add millions of fans from LA, Oakland, San Diego, and right here in your new tax-free sports gambling capital of the world, Las Vegas. The first owner to act will increase their, evalu their team's evaluation exponentially over the next few decades. We are very close to finding a cure that can save the sport and can help our country by saving millions of veterans and concussion vi victims alike that go misdiagnosed with CTE. People are really suffering. We are close to a cure, and we're simply asking for help. Thank you. Thank you. Any other members of the public? Okay, seeing none, uh, we'll close uh, that agenda item, and uh, that will be uh, the adjournment of our meeting today. Thank you very much.